So the story is about um, Rochelle and her young son uh, who find themselves on the run from social services after her boyfriend mysteriously disappears. And uh, they turn to the community and turn to the land around them to find his whereabouts and uncover some secrets along the way. The jump from shorts to features, uh, the biggest challenge came in the writing, um, where uh, you're peppering story elements and trying, trying to engage an audience for more than seven to 12 minutes, right? So that, that was the biggest challenge. Working with co-directors was interesting because I think that's the first time I've ever worked on a project where there were more than one director. Both Daniel and Janine had brought a different, a different part to the process where like Daniel brought more of like, um, like a technical side from having experience in the industry and then, and then Janine brought more of her take which is like her background in storytelling and, and so finding that balance in between that and then micro budgets really are passion projects. It's everybody's there because they want to be, everybody's there because they want to tell this story and they believe in the project and that's, that's why I love working on these projects and that's why I love working on The Land of Rock and Gold is because it's so, everybody Everybody wants to be there. They're not. They're not doing it for a paycheck. <laughs> yeah, the telephone and the talent fund, the micro budget uh, feature program, is really what kickstarted the film and what's what made us know that we were going to be able to go ahead and film it.